What's going on, everybody? This is Pebble Spartan here, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet R Nuzlocke. Uh, now that we have officially finished the game, I am essentially just taking the Nuzlocke off, except for major battles. Um, so we're going to head straight in to Area Zero now. I am... Hey! Over here! What's up, Arvin? How you doing, buddy? It's been a hot minute. It has been, like, almost two weeks since I've played this. Because of Hogwarts Legacy. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so that researchers could try and observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea. What folks call Area Zero. That's our ticket down to the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater. You know, uh, you know that Pokemon of yours? The one that I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Moridon was born. Or something like that. Maybe I'll be happy to finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Uh, our two, uh, new teammates should be waiting for us inside Area Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Alright, let's do it. Actually, Area Zero is the one area we do not have in our book. Let me actually grab the book right now. Give me two seconds. In our book for this Nuzlocke. We have every other area filled out except for area zero. So I am super excited to finally fill in that with whatever mod we get here first. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Well, yeah. Hey, hey, Nimona. Arvin said there'll be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. When she heard there's, uh, she gets to battle some awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. You're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you can come in handy for this. But more importantly, why is it so dark? Where are the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up already. But, oh. Well, there it is. But why? Oh, Penny turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I mean, fair. Why? Why would you overrun them? Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um, I guess. My name is Penny. Oh, hey, we never actually got to talk. I'm Nimona. I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon Battling too? Uh, you talk, like, way too much. The director introduced us. Uh, when you need some someone go with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny's uh, also agreed, and in a second, she, when she heard it, it was to help me. And pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me. All right, my love includes my mop, my bo my babastiff, and cooking. Oh, Professor Toro, hi. Probably. <laughs> That's Professor Toro? No, Mona, student ID number and Penny, student ID number. Oh god, okay. Thank you for coming. I mean, not in person exactly. Arvin, did you uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask, uh, I'd like to ask all of you to make your way down to the Great Center. Probably. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator to your right. Okay, cool. That should be easy enough. Alright, come on. Please proceed below. They're not on good terms. Must not be. No, they're not. They're absolutely not on good terms. I want to see. Is there anything? Oh, I can't even rotate the camera, so I can't even see. 
Okay, so there's probably nothing up here, right? Nothing over here, yeah? No. Okay, cool. So we'll just head on down then. I was hoping there would be at least something, you know? Like maybe a Pokeball with like a Master Ball or something? Something to entice me to look around? I guess not. But oh well. Alright, we're. I think this is area two. Access grants it to lower level. Okay. Looks like someone's controlling this thing remotely. You'll be above area zero. Okay. Oh. No, of course not. I do not believe that's the case. I identified your environment at your current location. If you utilize Marino's growling capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach area zero. Marino can fly? Oh, lovely. Alright, let's go. Area zero time. Guess we better go to. I love how I'm the last one to leave. I don't want to be, but the parent. Wait a minute. I could have swore I saw something over there. Yep. Get ready for the worst. Yep. I'm pretty sure what they all have one. Hey, Maridon, you want to help us all down, buddy? All right, are they all hopping on? We're all hopping on. Is supposed to go. Oh, yes, because that's safe. I'm sorry, Arvin. There is no shot you are that strong. Alright, let's see what Area Zero looks like. I'm actually super excited. Oh, that's gorgeous. I mean, the trees are a little buggy, but that's to be there. Now they're now they're better. <laughs> uh, it just takes time for them to render in. Got it. And now I'm back here again. I think I might have died once or twice. Okay. It's alright, Maridon. Oh, he does not like it here. No, it just does not like it here. Oh no, where'd Nimona go? Oh, of course she already ran off and found shit. Is that a Pokeball? I think that's a Pokeball behind her hair. All within normal range. Okay. Who could possibly complain about landing like that? I had concerns she might fall given the crudeness uh, of the only available access method. I think your dad's sarcasm detector needs fix fixing. Uh, you should now be able to wake your, uh, meet me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is bared by four locks installed in the, on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks. Uh, on your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Okay. 
One's obviously right behind us. You'll be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. All right, well, that should be easy enough. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? I mean, you we are in a video game. We are playing a game, really? Oh, there's a Corviknight. You gonna let me run around? Thank you. I'm going straight back here because I'm pretty sure this is one of the bases, right? No? You're telling me this? This right here? This was not one of the bases. I'm actual... Oh, why can't I ride my ride on here? Oh, that's not... That's not good. There's, I could have swore this would have been one of them. I will say this though, I love the music. Oh, there's the giraffe rig evolution. And a Ven Venomoth, Metatites, Metachams. Crystals. Oh, this looks so gorgeous. Oh, Braveries. Okay. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, it's another Braveries. Okay. And a Venomoth. Okay. Giraffe Rigs. Frost Lasks. Knights. Oh, right use. Why don't you just call the professor if he's down here? Give me the ball. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm still in shock over looking over this all of this. I think this is area zero, like officially area zero. But I'm so curious on seeing what still is down here. Because I wonder what that is over there. So it has to be right. Oh. Oh, well, I see one of the labs. So, I mean, that's a good thing, right? There's no labs up here. At least none that I spotted. Okay, so that has to be the first lab. So if I just jump, right? Yeah. We're fine, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh, and they just immediately teleport. Palucha. Oh, oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. Really, I would have never guessed. And now I'm on the opposite side of, the, of where I was. The radish stations? Research stations. Oh my gosh. Well, I was close. Do you always have food? Compared to a lot. <laughs> um. Oh! That's the thing, uh... What's her name had? Yeah. I didn't know the species we found. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I guess this is just a straight battle. Okay, that's an, it. Should be easy enough to take on, right? It. I forgot. It's rock something. I know it's part rock. All right. Well, um, we'll just phantom force it. Or, you know, a drill run will kill, can kill too. And I, and I can't even catch this, that's the sad part. Damn, already halved like in Rock's health. Oh well, I didn't even get his attack. Sad face. I'm just gonna reappear. And I'm there. 
Okay. A lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, don't you think? Easy, you two. Just, uh, just head inside the research station. I, I don't like Arvin's attitude towards this whole thing. Okay, thank you. I was gonna say let let me go. There, there's literally something right there, and I can't even pick it up. That's so upsetting. Wow, these ancient ruins. They look too far for the first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surviving areas. Survey at Area Zero. So that's why there's a bed. Yeah? Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. To disable a first alarm. Uh, first lock. Okay. I mean, that should be easy enough, right? Just do this. Yes. Okay. Three or four locks still active. Please continue your efforts for the remaining research stations. Is that the only thing up here? Huh. So, they... You want to check out the other rooms if the doors are busted? Yeah, obviously the doors are busted. Thanks to our prototype terror orb, I secured, a, I secured corporate funding to, for my research and made uh, a laboratory in a lighthouse near the Capoco Path. Someday, though, I return to the crater and resume my study of, of these crystals. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's head out. Wait a minute. I saw something. We're gonna head back in real quick. I saw a teleporter. What does this do? Oh, it just lets you go to the different levels. Okay. So I can go all the way back up to the top if I really wanted to. Okay. It doesn't help though because I can't even ride my ride on here. So it would be pointless. Alright. Arvin's giving his little backstory about his, he, he's a band, he has abandonment issues because of his father. That thing's a lot taller than I expected it to be, to be honest. Where's the next one? I wish I could see them from here, right? Because I have a weird, weird suspicion that it's not going to be down the same path if we just keep going like this. Yeah, I don't think if we just keep following... I see it! But the question is, is that the right one? Huh. There's a lot down here. And a lot of Pokemon I have already caught, so... Alright, we are almost there. Wait a minute, was that a shiny all the way up there? And I missed it? That might have been. And I'm just stupid. Just because I don't know the colors of these shinies yet. I might have missed a shiny. That would not have been fun. Um, I feel stupid now. I really do. Alright, let's get to the second station. Uh, and now that we're here, we'll do this. And then, um, once we finish this one, we'll just jump to the third and fourth as well. They would have had a bit more students. Which is the full surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Oh, 
it's the uh, deli bird. It's the iron bundle deli bird. That's, yeah, it is cute, but it's also deadly. Penny, be careful. Don't worry, we got this, Penny. Why would you send out Umbreon? I, mean, I understand Umbreon's bulky, but it's not the best thing to use to use in that in this situation. Just kill, right? There we go. Okay, cool. That's fine. We took it out. No issues. Seriously, what was that dark thing? That thing scared me half to death. Mechanical looking deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Aw, poor kid. All right, in, come on, thank you. Into the uh, second one we go to now. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come here in, uh, in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Seriously, what is this place, that Pokemon? I'm wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. What is that book? It's showing uh, the Great Tusk and the Iron Treads. Yeah. Alright. I suppose it's time to come for an explanation. Professor, some of those life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokémon that have lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Future Pokémon? What? That's awesome. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab is where I'm located that contains the time machine. It summons future Pokémon to this place. Down here. He actually got it working? Indeed, the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine. You can actually travel to and from the future? It is there theoretically possible to travel to the future? However, for being uh, for being such as a human for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to turn to the present. Well that's horrifying. Arvin, I. Oh no, it's possible. I would like us, if possible, I'd like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'd be easier for you to understand once you see the situation for yourself. Alright, so we'll disable this and then we'll head to the next two uh, areas. And that should be the perfect spot to end it. Well done. Please continue your, your efforts. Hey, Spartan. You know that book you told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one uh, he expects to fix whatever this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Okay. So we got the Violet Book. Awesome. Take good care of it. Okay. Alright, guys. I'll catch you guys when we hit the third uh, station. Alright, we found the third one. And made it to station number three. How long after any of that walking valley? Anyone need a rest? Huh. Feeling rough, Penny? Oh, it's not that. I've been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that machine. Pokemon Arizona came to our time for the future, right? 
So, what about Maridon? It's pretty likely that he's one of those future Pokemon. Yeah, most likely. I think you're on something. It's kind of giving the, off the future vibe. Even the name sounds featurey. Wait a second, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvid. You had a Rhinos Pokeball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Uh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're Eris, little star pupil. Guess I got no choice but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Rhinos, that is. It was found by my dad when he was working on the time machine. I believe we're best, uh, best for me to take over the explanation at this point. Professor, Maridon, which I entrusted to Spartan, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved for the future by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of his genetic makeup, makeup as well as his behavioral patterns, I came to realize what I discovered was, in fact, a futuristic form of Cyclizard, the Pokemon commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense. They do look like... Many other Pokemon also came uh, to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two species of Maridon. Maybe there's another one here somewhere? What if they're family? They, uh, the other could still be in somewhere in Area Zero waiting for it to finally be reunited with our Maridon. A heartwarming family reunion. Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'd be to get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. Alright, lock three. Let's see what we can do. Alright, three down, one to go. Well done. Only one remains. Please continue on the ray. Alright, and you know what that means. Alright, we've made it to the final one. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. Looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? Uh, I, I'm so, uh, uh, What? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. Um... Uh, Lovely. That's peachy. If he meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps. Alright. You know what you need to do. You better press it. I did press it. All locks disabled. Uh, 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 hello, can you hear me now? Oh, no. Okay. Which lies at the very bottom of area zero. I don't like the way that's supposed to happen. But this is where we're going to leave off this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content such as this. Until next time, when we get to the bottom of Area Zero and all these future and past Pokemon, this has been your Spiteful Spartan, signing off. Stay frost, everyone. Peace.